We stopped in Kingman, which is pretty much the only stop from Phoenix to Vegas. Caroline Clay drove down from Phoenix. Sometimes the lines are difficult. Sometimes people just aren't very nice moving their vehicles when they're fully charged. Tourists say that's the theme that they have noticed. When I went to the first electrical station, charging station, and nothing is working. Stanley from San Francisco says it's been a pain trying to find one that works. Finally landing one before his e-car was out of battery. Luckily, I got this one. Terry from Surprise, Arizona says he loves traveling to Vegas in his e-car despite the stop in Kingman. I used to have a high-speed Camaro in my younger days and I sold it and went to this electric car. For him, it's just a little bit of work, but it's all worth it. If you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, click that link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. What's going on, everyone? My name's Obi, and welcome back to Courtside Financial, the podcast where we talk about business and technology. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the narrative in the EV industry about how companies are going about achieving longer ranges. Sometimes that has to deal with bigger batteries. Some some say that that has to deal with solid state batteries. But what's the real path forward? That's what we're going to discuss in this video. We're going to have some weigh in from obviously some industry experts, CEOs, we're going to reference what they said, guys like Elon Musk, CEO of Neo, William Lee. So this is going to be a super interesting episode. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10K before the year is over. If you can help us out with that, that would be amazing. Click the notification bell icon and leave a comment down below. All your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel. So in the fast paced world of electric vehicles, the race for bigger batteries and longer ranges has been at the forefront of innovation. Industry leaders like William Lee and Elon Musk have championed the significance of high capacity batteries, arguing that they symbolize progress and innovation in the EV market. CEO of NEO, William Lee, says that the symbolic significance of the 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid semi state battery pack is greater than its practical significance. However, amidst the excitement of batteries that have more capacity, there's a crucial aspect that's often overlooked and that's charging infrastructure. Despite all these advancements in battery technology, the availability and efficiency of charging stations remains a significant challenge for EV adoption. Elon Musk says that we need to focus on building out charging infrastructure to make EVs more accessible and convenient for everyone. So while solid state batteries offer promising solutions with higher energy density and faster charging capabilities, the reality is that without robust charging networks, EVs will continue to face limitations, especially in EV adoption. Now, there are government initiatives that are underway to expand charging infrastructure, but they're not keeping pace with the exponential growth rate of uh, electric vehicle sales. Achieving a vehicle pile ratio of one to one is crucial for addressing range anxiety and accelerating the transition to electric mobility. So to pretty much sum it all up, while large capacity batteries are essential for pushing the boundaries in EV technology, the true key to unlocking their potential lies in um, having a comprehensive charging network available for consumers to refuel their electric vehicle. Only then can we truly propel the EV industry into widespread adoption and sustainability. That's going to be it for this one. Subscribe to our channel for more content around the matter. We'll continue to stay in tune rolling out some pretty exciting things pretty soon here just working on finalizing all the details um with my partner who i plan on working on this with so hopefully that comes to fruition hopefully we can get that going on the channel and make a big splash but um stay tuned until then we'll catch you in the next installment